Okay, so let's go ahead and type a script for our pause menu right here. Create a new C sharp script by the name of menu. And let's just attach this script to our menu canvas. Try and drop that there. And let's open this up. Now in here, first of all, add the Unity Engine dot scene management package because we will be redirecting the user back to the gear arch scene okay and after that let's add a header by the name of all menus and in here what we will do we will first create a reference to our pause menu UI or you can say the menu UI and after that we need a public static bool by the name of game is stopped this will be by default equals to false now let's create all of the functions or methods so let's go ahead and first of all create a public void by the name of resume okay this will be a function for resuming the game in here what we will do when the game resumes we want the pause menu to be removed so we will set its active to false and what we will do we will simply make the time scale of the game back to normal which is 1 f and after that if someone is playing this game on the PC you can actually log the cursor when the game start but now we are just making this game for mobile so we will just skip that step and then we simply say game is stopped to false because if the game resumes then it means that, that this game is paused is set to false okay now let's create a function for restarting the game and when the game restart we just simply want the scene day to be reloaded so we will say load scene and let's load the scene underscore day okay and after that we will set the time dot time scale back to normal okay when the game restart you want the game time to be normal now after that if someone click on the menu then we want the user we want to redirect the user back to the gear art scene so for that create a function by the name of load menu or whatever you want and in here we will say scene manager dot load scene and let's load the gear art scene okay and after that actually when the gear art scene is loaded let's make the time dot time scale normal okay after this let's create a function for the quit game so for that we will name this function as quit game and in here we will say debug dot log for now as you can see we are testing this game on this unity so that's why we need some text so that we know that yes the game is quitting and if we will test this game on the mobile phones then this application dot quit will just simply quit or we can say close the game okay this will not work on this unity this will only work on the mobile phones now right here we will say public void now let's add a function for pausing the game actually let's move this function from here to there and right here when we pause the game we want the pause menu to be activated so set active let's set it to true and after this we will set the time dot time scale to be 0 f and we will set the game is stop to true that's it now let's save this script 
and right here on the menu canvas we need to assign the pause menu ui so here is the menu ui drag and drop that in there now let's actually select all of these three buttons let's add an on click event let's drag and drop this menu canvas there and for the resume button let's call the resume function for the menu button let's call the load menu and then for the quit let's call the quit game and let's go inside the finish ui select all of these buttons in here we will add our own click event let's drag and drop that in there now for the restart let's call the restart for the menu let's add the load menu and then for the quit let's add the quit game and now this finish ui will also work okay and also this menu ui and also in the player canvas let's click on this pause button let's add a on click event in here drag and drop the menu canvas and on this we will call the pause function okay and after doing all of that let's play the game and as you can see here is the game let's pause it as you can see the game is paused okay we can uh, resume the game as you can see it is resumed we can move forward we can stop as you can see now let's stop the game it is showing this error but you can just simply ignore this and let's play the game again and you will notice guys that when we pause the game we can still see this controls okay we want this controls to be not shown on this pause menu okay and let's just um, leave the game as it is okay let's just wait for 25 seconds okay so now if we hit the collider right here as you can see right here we can't see the controls so we want the pause menu to be similar to this one okay so on the finish script we as you can see we have a reference set to this finish ui and the clear ui we have disabled the clear ui when this finish ui appears so we will do the same on this menu script as well so right here let's just add a reference to the player ui so we will say public game object player ui and then when the game is paused what we want to do we want the player ui to be set active to false and when the game resumes we want to show the player ui so set it to true then that's it save the script right here let's assign the player ui try and drop that in there now if we play the game you will notice that when we pause the game we can't see the player ui now now if we click on resume as you can see the game is being resumed but if you see right here the timer is not moving as you can see right here we type time dot time scale equals to 1f but if you play the game as you can see now the timer is moving let's pause the game okay the game is being paused let's click on resume as you can see it is still not moving I don't know why for what reason as you can see the steering wheel works but the game is still paused and the reason behind this is I think that when we pause the game let me show you when we pause the game as you can see for now the timer is going if we pause it as you can see we disable the player canvas and in the player canvas we have the timer and the timer script right there okay so it just messed up this timer script okay let's resume it as you can see the timer script then just paused in one place okay 
so what we can do in order to fix this we can just actually copy component we can just copy the script and then right here in the menu canvas let's just simply paste component as new okay and then let's move this timer from there to the menu canvas and then you can remove this script from there because now we have this script right here okay and now if we check it out okay as you can see the timer is going let's pause the game okay it is now paused let's resume it as you can see now the timer is going and now it says go and now we can play the game and actually you can create another canvas for this as well if you want so just click on ui and then canvas let's name this as timer canvas and just add the time in there okay and then add the script as well so copy component and right here just say paste component as new that's it and remove this from there okay so the simple method is to simply create a new canvas for the timer add the script right there and add the timer inside the canvas and now let's just play the game as you can see the timer is going let's pause the game okay we can't see that let's resume it okay now here is the timer okay and the reason when we pause the game we can't see the timer because the timer is right down below the menu canvas so that's why it will first give priority to the menu canvas it will show the menu canvas then the timer canvas okay if you move this timer canvas up there then it will show the timer canvas as well but we will just leave this as it is because we don't want to show the timer on the pause menu and with this done catch you guys in the next one